Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Talos Principle 2. Last time we played, we beat the prologue, and it only took us three hours. We still, according to the save selection screen, have 0% progress, so... It's looking good. <laughs> we, we have reached Act 1. Uh, we realized that jumping down here is death, so... There is death in the game. This is also no longer a deathless playthrough, I suppose. Hey, 1K, check out these coordinates. Alright. We have a whole world to discover. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to ignore all the things on the map and instead just go my own way. Byron is not interested in speaking to me. And these are not the coordinates we're looking for. We have found the singular flower on the mountain top along with some other flowers, so that's falling apart. Let's just instead move on. We'll, we'll get to the, like, coordinates at some point in life, I'm sure. But before that, I'm just gonna sort of make my own way through this world. Which, uh, <laughs> it once again may take a while before we see any kind of action, I suppose. My one thought right there when I did that jump is, am I now out of bounds? But that's, uh, it's fine. I mean, there's, like, structures here. So we're not necessarily out of bounds. The music's still playing. It's pretty exciting stuff. There is, uh, something going on. Yeah, this doesn't look too out of bounds. This looks almost intentional. Just, a. Uh, a little bit of a different way to get to where I need to be, which is here. I think that could be described as falling damage, what happened right there, but maybe we're just uh, a little bruised. And instead, we're just going to move on for a minute. We'll get into this big structure in a second. I just want to enjoy the land a little bit more before we get to the, the nitty gritty. Did we actually just go where we had to go? That's, an, that's the first one for me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, uh, like, there's a compass at the top, and there's an icon indicating where to go. But it doesn't say how far away something is, so it's still kind of a mystery uh, how far away we are from the thing I'm intended to go to. So, obviously... Sort of looks like a temple. Yeah, obviously, instead, we're just gonna <laughs> go in a whole different direction. <laughs> I'm sure this temple will be relevant uh, to our tales in some way or another, so... And as long as nothing is preventing me from just going my own way, I'm, I'm just gonna keep going my own way, I suppose. Let's just explore this temple instead. It seems we have been prevented from going another way. As, uh... It doesn't seem to be much I can do here from the look of things. Might be wrong. But there isn't realistically anything here I can interact with. So we move on. It's okay. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like a stretch texture that's duplicated by a strange rock. Excellent. Another puzzle we have found that we'll solve at a later date, I'm sure. Until then. I like the music. It's soothing. Uh, we'll... Probably have to go there in a second, but there is bound to be a hidden cave right around the corner here. That just feels <laughs> a little dangerous. There is something over there, but I feel like that's also just a surefire way to die. I do kind of want to try, though. There's a chance this is not death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, maybe it's a bit more deadly than I thought. We'll just, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just go there a little, uh, never. We'll just never go there is, is, is the outcome of that story, I suppose. This all seems like it's going to be stuff for later, so. There's, may, maybe, maybe we're intended to follow the big icon on the map. There is a chance. Also, there was a rock here a second ago, which I could jump on top of. Off of? Jump off of, on top of. And that would indicate that I can get up top of this, but... Uh, will that realistically help me in any way? It does, maybe. But it's worth... <laughs> I feel like it's worth walking around it for just a second to see if there's not an easier way. 
This actually goes inside. That's, I suppose, where we're actually meant to go. There's another temple over here. I do think this is actually a different one. Golden gates. I wonder what's behind those. Has to be something special, right? You is know that? what would be special? An explanation. Yeah. I mean, uh, clearly all we need to do is find two owls, pet the cat near a computer, say hello to three people who are sm smaller than me, and this. And the door should open. That seems easy enough. I think over there we can clearly see the first part of this puzzle. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, I think there is a chance we might actually, genuinely, have to just follow the regular path, like a fool. You could definitely get up top there, like, from there, you can reach some interesting looking places, for sure. Unfortunately, my mind is now clouded with the thought of, just use photo mode, silly. Because it's a much easier way of doing the regular shenaniganry you are trying to do with ultimately more or less the same result. But where's the fun in that? You know? Because I do f I feel like you could jump around this. With not like a lot of difficult- well, a decent amount of difficulty for sure. It's not the easiest jump in the game. But similarly, if we can just carry a box outside, it would really make life a lot simpler. Let's just let's just go inside. This seems different from the other structures. Older. Have a look around, 1K. How nice is this cardboard, though? Very nice, actually. We have propane. We have red and blue pipes. Really take everything in. <laughs> you never know when it's going to be relevant for a puzzle. Oh, this puzzle requires a large canister of propane. Fortunately, I saw one before we entered this door to a puzzle. Or this... This... Generator... Seeming thing. Which would really help out the people... In Robot Town. Except when you stand over here. It's very noise protected. When you stand here, it's like it's not even there. Wow, how that works. But it doesn't have any owls or cats on it, so I don't think it's relevant to our current situation. Let's do a puzzle. Looks like they were running some sort of experiment here. Yeah. Oh, I've done this. Oh. I suppose the game is a bit easier if the game just solves the puzzles itself, and I just sort of watch. It does save a lot of time in the end. We got three different colored beams. Easy. Hey, schematic. It is Talos. Too many? Repetition? Good. Footnotes. Physics. We've read it. Uh, we all know what this means. There's insufficient. Power grid too unstable. Fun sound effects, that's for sure. Melville is now happy. Let's see what we've got here. The file format is the same one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. And it crashed. Ah. Hold on. There we go. Okay. You know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. All right. We have done it. It is done. What needed to be done, we have. Let's go back. Generator still works. This door is still closed. Not a random wall you can just walk through from the look of things. We leave. We ultimately did not need the propane tank uh, against everyone's expectations. And quite frankly, what a twist. <laughs> there's like no way this is impossible, right? Yeah, let me. There's definitely a rock here you can jump up off of. And then sometimes you end up going a little bit further. I'm going to spend a good five minutes doing this. Just to see if it's possible. 
I gave up and went into photo mode. There's nothing there. <laughs> We're moving on. We're going back to the... I mean, obviously there's a thing there. This thing is showing up. Oh, that's the Golden Gates, right? Let's look around a little bit more before we actually go back, though. Because surely... There's got to be something over here. I'll be danged if I'm not going to find it. I will say that this right here this is lovely. This uh, this really simplifies how much effort I'm willing to put into stuff. Because <laughs> I could just real quickly just open up a periscope that I hold up to the next area and be like, all right, is there actually anything there? Or is it just the end of a small cave? And there's like half of me that wants to jump everywhere and have a good time doing a lot of jumping and then there's this part of me uh, that's recording this on a Wednesday after work and I don't really feel like it <laughs> so uh, so it's you know it's a it's a troubling uh, combination of events that we're dealing with here having said that if you give me something like this I, I will have at least a little bit of fun with it just scaling a mountain like a horse really experiencing frame drops when I go into those foliages <laughs> but that's okay some things were never meant to be seen from so close and one of those things is likely foliage I am sorta curious if this has like a uh, like a god mode or something that you could turn on to make life a little bit easier. Because I'm going to jump down here and I fully expect that this is just instant death the moment I touch this rock. No. Because so far, it hasn't been very giving <laughs> in terms of uh, what you're allowed to go down before the game's just like, ah, you went down too far. There's bound to be little secrets here and there. Especially if you can just reach them. But then there's also places like this where it's like, well, now I'm here. Can I realistically even go back if I wanted to? And the answer is almost certainly no. Well, there is... Oh. <laughs> Maybe. I just skipped the death plane <laughs> entirely. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going. Again, though, if I had a crouch button, life would be different. Alright, we're doing this again. Yeah, there's probably nothing down there. Uh, tried it again. Fell to my death. We're moving on. <laughs> we have probably seen what there was to see in that place. We have once again found the helipad. Which I'm not 100% sure if it was actually where I was meant to be going. That's death as well. So, so far, thoroughly excavated. Very nice. Let's go down here. Well. Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly in it? I don't think I can easily get there. Maybe I can get there, just not easily. Uh, <laughs> also, it's just sort of a big lump, so I don't know if I really realistically need to see it up close but you know it, 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 this big tower I want to touch it <laughs> I want to touch the big tower uh, but I don't think unless we get real silly with it I think today is not the day that we touch the big tower I think today is not a big tower kind of day today is the day that we focus on our journey <laughs> Don't get distracted by big towers materializing out of nowhere. And instead, just go to the little icon and see if we can find a puzzle. Because surely there must be at least one in these woods. Yeah, probably. There's a good chance I missed something over there as well, but that's okay. Let's see what this is. Board the capsule. Alright. 
Well, he's done scanning it. He Go isn't... Try the capsule, 1K. Thanks, Byron, who's not here. But at least Alcatraz scanned it for red. Alright, Alcatraz might just be scanning everything. Which I respect. If I was Alcatraz, I would also scan wall. Anyway. I don't see what could possibly go wrong here. I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. I love subways. Weird building near our base. Standard expedition. Basic info. Test please ignore. Now this is Laura Mipsa. <laughs> I think it actually is. How nice. Uh, temple. Like it's hiding a secret. Uh, <laughs> we'll get back to it. Well, I forgot about the actual map. Hang on, let me try this again. Everyone once again enjoy the animation of me sitting down. We're going to the Grasslands Rig. It's, uh, it's, we're going to East One. Where is the capsule taking 1K? East One. To that enclosed area in the Eastern Lowlands. I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. Thanks. Sorry. My bad. We'll catch up with you soon, 1K. Still can't believe everyone's calling me wonky. After all my puzzle solving. Did they not see me at the museum? I've done much to <laughs> progress our society. Now this. Maybe we will this touch place is magnificent. Big Tower. Look at that tower. I wonder what it's for. Touching, almost certainly. I don't see any other purpose for Big Tower other than touch. There is a puzzle down here. It's puzzle number five, which I cannot reach by simply jumping down. That is now a barrier. Invisible walls galore. Which is fair enough. I must be stopped. It's for everyone's best interest that I'm not allowed into certain places because it just saves everyone a lot of time, really. Mostly me. But largely the common public as well. Now, is this a maze? <laughs> or is it just sort of weirdly laid out? Because I think it is actually just weirdly laid out instead. We cannot jump on top of glass, which is fair. It would be dangerous. We are robots. I guess I don't know how heavy I am. And if I could crush a nearly indestructible glass pane with the little badonkadonk that I have at my disposal. However, I'm feeling good about it. This one is just missing bits. That's fine. But we can at least run over it and indeed conclude that we do not have the apparatus available to destroy glass. And again, that's probably for the best. It's good to be safe. Uh, quickly go through all the pillars, obviously. You never know. There's a good chance that if you touch one of them, just, just sort of push it, it, it goes in, and then you have a long maze leading to an orb. It has been done in video games before. Any of these could be a hole, technically, as well. But then that theory sort of goes out of the window when you realize you can't actually uh, step on any of it. We're almost going to the puzzle, don't worry. We just got a little bit more looking around to do of the place. The music can entertain you while I'm doing my important research. But it does look like we're actually gonna have to play the game now. Although, I do seem to have found a jumping puzzle. Also some of the icons that I think were on the golden door. I just don't fully remember what the golden door said we had to do with these things. If anything, they might just be fun little shapes. Which, in fairness, they are fun shapes. There's also a bunch of them on the other side, I just realized. Okay. I think I might be officially ready to consider playing the game. 
and actually try to solve a puzzle. I don't have several hours of dialogue in my mind stopping me from using my big brain smarts. There's a... Well, there's something over there. I don't know if I can reach it by just jumping, but likely it's going to be part of a puzzle. I'm excited to see it. There's one fun shape here, three fun shapes on the other side. I don't know what it means. Two over here. Realistically, there is a chance that it's just a matter of walking past the fun shapes from number to number. But also, it is possible that I'm trying to find a puzzle where there is not one. <laughs> uh, which I feel is the more likely of the two options. Is this actually blocking me? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Fair enough. Alright, I think I've wasted enough time and instead we can now finally play the game. RGB shifting. Ooh! A puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. Ah, uh, can okay, I... Go ahead. I have but... a reoccurring nightmare just like this. Alright, so why does red and blue become green? Oh, oh god. Okay, so this becomes red? Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it actually, in your hand, you can see what color it becomes, and then this is just like uh, nothing. Yeah. This becomes blue. Alright, actually, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's just in my hands, which isn't ideal. You do actually have to use two colors, huh? That's a- oh, you can press- actually, you can press right-click and just remove the last thing that you- oh, the one you select. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. like that. Big fan. Big fan. We have a box. We have uh Well, that was- it, it protrudes. <laughs> that was the protrusion I had to attempt, as you might well understand. Alright, let's make a blue. That's fun. This is a fun mechanic. I like it. Nope. Oh, you can leave the puzzle as well. Prometheus Terminal. I don't know what that does, but I'm worried it's gonna solve the puzzle for me, and I don't wanna do that. So, we'll just leave the Prometheus Terminal uh, alone for now. And instead, bloop, 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 down. I don't know why it would solve the puzzle for me, but it's blocking the entrance door, I feel. And that's probably not what I want to do. Progress wheel! Whoa! I'm reading an enormous energy spike. It's another particle cloud. Eh. Maybe it's not. Fire has already been freed. Seek the light elsewhere. It's headed for the lake. Oh, right, I can't actually just leave. Alright, maybe next time I'll press it. <laughs> uh, I kind of didn't see where it went. The cloud's been absorbed by some sort of device. Fascinating. Melville? Yeah, yeah. I'll add it to the pile of weird stuff. I sort of saw this as a barrier rather than uh, what it was. So that's my bad. <laughs> uh, it's okay though. I can't jump from this little statue place. That's strange. Anyway. Uh, how realistic is it that we can take this box out of here? Because I'm feeling good. Oh, the thing stays open. That's actually surprising. Can't drop here. But I can drop it here though. And it gives me the jump here thing, but I can't actually jump there, as it so implies. Was I able to do this? I actually don't remember. It knocks you away, but how badly does it knock you away? Because it knocks me to the sides, obviously, uh, which actually makes me curious. Just exploring game mechanics again, don't look at me. I'm doing my own little, little puzzle game. <laughs> So, 
Well, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't expect that. I don't even fully understand how I did that. But if you, yeah, just sort of clip through it. That's so weird. Hang on, because I got the. Huh. Where am I trying to jump to? I wonder. Because that. Huh. <laughs> I promise you, that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to do a different thing. And I don't know if it's just because the box is so close to the wall. Do I only need one box for this, actually? No, because I need a second one for the prompt to, sh to just show up at all. Right? Because now it, it doesn't give a prompt. Did I just place it just perfectly? Because it is... Weird. It is weird for sure. Yeah, now I just can't do it. That's so, so bizarre. Huh. Well, there you go. You can go through walls if you really want. So that's exciting. <laughs> anyway, we're back. Uh, we've solved one puzzle, so now it's my turn to be silly again. Uh, as are the rules. I've gotten myself stuck in the corner now. So that's at least sort of... Save, safe, safe from shenanigans because I can't really. Yeah, I don't think this is a thing, which is fair enough, I suppose. We've already clipped through a wall, I can't expect everything to fall apart on my hands. Like, if it just do this, right? Like, where did I put that? <laughs> I probably should have taken a note of where I had that before I. Uh, Got rid of it the way I did. So I can't jump here now, but that might just be because it's underneath something. We'll, we'll get back to the game one day, but obviously we got different things on our minds right now. It must have just been in such a weird location that it just somehow... We'll just, we'll just go back on the video on that one, I think, because I don't fully understand how I did this. And I'm extremely curious. Because I think you can really get some stuff going if you really want to. Because you do get the jump here prompt if I place it here. Next to the wall like that. Even though it's in the air. And I wonder if you can get it just positioned right. That you can still just balance it on the other one like that. Surely that's possible. <laughs> just just five more minutes and I'll be ready. Yeah, alright. Like, what am I actually... What am I actually doing here? Like, I don't fully... I just get the jump here prompt here for some reason. But I'm not... I'm not even targeting anything. I'm just targeting the other side of the wall for some reason. <laughs> anyway, we got a box, so uh, I'm I'm good. <laughs> I got what I came for. <laughs> oh god, that's I I mean I didn't expect that. I'll I'll be honest. Out of the things that I I expected to happen, that one was not immediately on the list for sure. But they did wall off the place pretty well with invisible walls, so, you know, they got they got that going for them. Uh, can I go here now, though? Yeah. This, uh, I mean, it's pointless. But I can. I have the option, so that's exciting. Reconnection. What does this actually say? You have no tokens. You are not alone in your quest for the light. Find one of my sparks and I will free the fire hidden in the labyrinth. Looks sure. Like Prometheus has given us a way to circumvent some of these puzzles. So each puzzle has a backdoor. I guess the mythological Prometheus was kind of a trickster. So that tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd also consider myself somewhat of a trickster. I can't actually... <laughs> <laughs> jump out of that window without a box which is 
absurd. How is that even the case? How is this height working this way? Yeah. Strange. But also, again, I'm curious if the jump here mechanic is just a little busted sometimes and if you could use it to get real weird with it. We'll get to puzzle two in a second. Just uh, playing around a little bit. Because that is a pretty thin wall as well. But I had to place it pretty specifically, I feel, in order to get the jump here thing. And also, there's not really a point for me to jump through the wall because I'm not holding anything. So even if I did manage to clip through it, it would just ultimately just put me where I am now. <laughs> so maybe maybe I shouldn't put too much thought into this. Anyway, let's uh, solve some puzzles here. Can I reach all of this? No, no, not, not even close. Not even remotely close. Is there a blue one? Uh, no, I mean, red's there, obviously, but red doesn't help me. That's another spinny. Can I? I can hit that one. I suppose that's good. Oh, and then you need the other one and red, maybe, to make uh, another blah, 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 blah. Get it? You get it. You know what I mean. Because I assume I can't just do this, because then it'll be green, yeah. And I can't just uh, do this, because that's nothing. But... I could do this. And then do this. I really like this mechanic. <laughs> I think that's actually really cool. Progress wheel. Let's try to properly follow it this time. Yeah. yeah. I've fully given up already. Where are you going, little flame? It's just kind of difficult to do this while also not being able to see where I'm going. Oh, it is open. I've been playing around with this machine that absorbs the particle clouds. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes? Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I think. What is this? A theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. Rat. It seems like an echo of the simulation. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. Let's not jump to conclusions, though. What's clear is that this place was meant to be explored. Oh, good. So let's do that. Let us indeed do that. I don't know if I should bring my box everywhere. I could just go to puzzle number three and just follow the natural sort of flow of the world. Or I could carry my box everywhere and be silly. And I'll be, I'll be fully honest. I don't mind either option. <laughs> I think both of these have some appeal to me for sure. So, yeah, I don't think I can really go wrong. Uh, I just wonder what the most correct option is in this case. But I'm also wondering if I can get anywhere up top of this, because I feel like that's going to just lead to good times. I'm going to also see, where did I place this? Like, how far... We're going to get through this one more time. If I place it here, I still have it. There, it's just clearly too far. Maybe this wall is just weird. Maybe, like, the specific height of that wall. Like, I've done a puzzle. Now I can spend another, another ten minutes figuring out why this even works. Yeah, because it doesn't work next to this wall. No, that might actually be too close. Uh, and now I have it. For this sort of section here, actually. Is it just... Oh. Is there just, like, a, a gap here? 
Oh, this isn't real. This is a fake place. <laughs> so can I just jump through it then, normally as well? Can I just like up? Oh. No. No, you can. You can fully jump through this because it's not a. <laughs> it's just not solid. <laughs> well, that explains why that works because there's nothing to do with any of that. I just happened to stumble into the one non-solid wall of this place. That <laughs> there are more of them. Oh yeah. Yeah, none of this is. So there's just bits missing. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Well, you know, it's nice to have an explanation, at least. I just didn't expect that to be the explanation. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can just go through it. I mean, I guess that also means, realistically, that I could just do this then. And just leave with it very easily. Uh, I could also just place it down here. Get up top here. Yeah, that actually gives you a lot of options. So bizarre. Genuinely, and also again, I think you can just uh, end up skipping the first door like this as well, because... No, this goes back. Uh, well, I assume you could... Well, I say I assume. Let's not assume anything just yet. No, no, yeah, okay, we're definitely on the other side of the thing now. So that's good. <laughs> Look, this, this playthrough is more about the view. It's not so much about puzzles. Occasionally we'll do a puzzle, but for the most part it's just... Uh, Sort of explore the land a bit. There's so much stuff going on. I want to look at all of it. And occasionally the game gives me a box and a good time. And I mean, I'm not going to say no to either of those. There's an invisible wall here, actually, but... I wonder how high it is. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh! It's a slidey one. <laughs> it's a slidey invisible wall, it turns out. Alright, uh, I'm bored, but... Good to know that occasionally uh, there might just not be a wall and that can lead to situations. <laughs> I mean that is that is troublesome because I feel like what was what is it about this that makes it end up being not solid I wonder because there's obviously like the leaves in front of it because I think it's just like here right more or less. I don't know if it's solid both ways, either. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, okay, it's that one. So, it's the one with the leaves... ...that are causing issues. I, s I wanna say, then, this one here was as well. Yeah. They just sort of stick out a little bit, and I'm wondering... ...is that going to be the case? For all of these situations, or is this just a fun little happenstance that we just stumbled across here? Because I think... Like, this isn't, like, the most exciting thing I can think of. I suppose one way I could verify this in a weird way... ...is photo mode again. It might actually just be really useful, because... ...I could maybe just do this? Yeah, because I can go through that in photo mode as well. That was me. Did you see me? I was there. And I assume that if there were such a wall here as well, I would be able to find it in a similar way by just taking photo mode and just, well, realistically, uh, hug walls. The thing is, uh, that might be the most boring thing I can think of. So it's unlikely that we're going to be exploring that train of thought for a long period of time, but it's, uh, it's nice to know. What a trip. I did not, did not expect to find just a, a hole. <laughs> just a, there was, actually, I think in the original, I want to say it was in the original Talos Principle, it might have been in the expansion, I'm not 100% sure, but there was one secret where you had to just sort of walk through, I mean, that's definitely death, right? You had to just walk through a wall and then Fort Parker was there. I feel like I remember that correctly. He was just throwing money around, having a good time. I'm worried about traversing the water too much because they did warn me about water and so far it's not been dangerous, but I assume this is going to be the time where uh, 
water will cause problems. How far does this go? I don't know. There's something over there that I'm excited to check out, but we'll get to that later. It's really glowy. The music is changing a bit when I get close to it. It's just stairs. It was just a weird lighting effect. <laughs> oh, God. That's okay, I suppose. God, this place is so big. All these places have been so massive. With so much... ground. There is a lot of ground to cover. And then you got stuff like this where I'm like, ah... Oh, what if you jump on it correctly and then the funny shape twirls and opens up a cork, leading to a secret land? Who's to say? There is uh, there's a lot to look at here. I intended to go to the puzzle. Monument. Monument. Decorative for another puzzle. Oh, it is actually a puzzle. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well... I'm gonna assume all of these things have one. At least one of them does. Well... How do I get a beam there? Because I can... It's got... It's like there as well. How can you see this from every angle even? No, because there's a big mirror in her hand. Or No, it's just a box actually. It's just, just a golden box. Alright, fair enough. Uh, but there is a large area where one could source what one could call a uh, beam. I'm going to go to puzzle number three. <laughs> I'm going to find my way back. I'm going to follow the sides. The side says it's this way. I believe it. Hang on. Do you know how much the box is flickering the entire time as well? I think that is just the shadows of the world. But I don't love it. I'm, I'm just going to put the box down for a little bit because it's actually very distracting. Uh, we'll just leave this box in an easy to find place. Like near... Uh... Uh, near puzzle number three. That's where we always keep our boxes. Famously. Ah! Didn't expect to be able to go in here. <laughs> Genuinely startled me a little bit. We can even leave it. Almost intentional. Someone here actually wants to talk to us. Hello, Alcatraz. What can I do for you, 1K? Why do you want to talk to me? What could these puzzles mean? Well, puzzles, or uh, trials, as Elohim calls them, were used as part of the process that created the Founder. And they're still part of how we're born. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Uh, they are a common motif in the arts, though. The only physically existing puzzles I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. So, to answer your question, no idea. That's fair. That's all I needed to know. That's all the information I could possibly gleam from Alcatraz, I feel. Puzzle number three. Where? Where the heck? At least there's signs indicating where the puzzle number three is. I'd never be able to find it on my own. Did we go fully the wrong direction? Because puzzle number eight here. Oh, and then the, uh, I think it was just following the signs wrong. This place is huge. <laughs> I know I've said that four times already, but it's so big. We'll find puzzle number three. It's only we've only been at this for fifty-one minutes. Oh my god, I. I had spent less time. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. We're having fun. I'm having fun. You might not. That's okay. I'm having fun. One of us is having fun. The rest is still up for debate, but we'll figure that out as time passes. 
I do kind of want to just run into the ocean, though. I don't know. It feels like it's either going to do nothing or just kill me. And both of those options are just sort of not that interesting. <laughs> Puzzle number three. What do you got for us? Uh, big structure. There's holes on the side, so one could theoretically, let's say, throw a beam through it to a, a statue a million miles away. But I don't even remember where the statue was. This is going to be a nightmare to try and find. Is it? Uh... Oh, there is a question mark on the thing, though. Oh, and the puzzles are also on the... <laughs> Puzzle numbers are on the compass. All right, well... Let's go do this. Red, what else do I got? I got a button. I got green. That makes blue. Point it at you. Put it down on the switch. Look at how efficient we are being, doing everything at once. Duh. What did I open? The this was already open. There's nothing here. Okay. Everyone, please remain calm. Uh, right, so I need you to stop. Oh, right, that's why. That's, that's why. Now we all understand. So we have to make... Uh, we have, we have, uh, right, uh, what color do we have to make again? We have blue, we have to make red. This obviously doesn't work, uh, cause that's in the way. How do I make that? Oh, the compass is gone right now, that's annoying. Um, right. So this would be wrong, but I can, I can't move this because then the thing closes, and this doesn't do anything now. Ah! How can we solve a puzzle like this? If only we had a box, then we could just jump over it, or two boxes even, if one really decide. God, with those two boxes, you could get real silly with it, couldn't you? Because you could just jump in there. Almost certainly. <laughs> Am I gonna make this the two box playthrough and just solve everything with just whatever boxes I can find? Because it's tempting. <laughs> it does sound kind of fun, but it, it sounds mostly fun to me. Admittedly. Do I just place this here? Is that just the trick of it? Uh, and then like that, and then just that. And, uh, yeah. It's not so tricky when you give it a little bit of a think. Keep solving these one K. Let's see where it leads. I'm just not very good at thinking in shapes, unfortunately. It is what it is. Uh where is the question mark? So there's a question mark there. And there's no way in hell that I'm gonna I ran see the that. Samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. Thanks, Byron. What an inspirational leader Byron is it from time to time. Obviously there was the big switch, but I got distracted by... Honestly, who knows at this point. I got distracted by a wall, I think is safe to say, and uh... It was a statue. I got distracted by the statue. It was a reasonable thing. Uh Good. Founding. There's some words there that you can read. Because it's about the way Elwyn258 uh, was a baby and then uh, suffered a great blowback and there was a, an adult at some point involved as well. And I think we can probably all fill in the blanks on what the rest of the story is. It's just not that kind of playthrough. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not story time playthrough. It's very much the walls playthrough. What is this, though? 
Puzzle number seven is in that direction. But puzzle number four was pretty close, so let's actually deal with this first. It's weirdly floating. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out which puzzle is actually close to that one statue, but we'll get to that. Alternative option. Well, I, I have a suggestion for an alternative option. It's called finding the correct wall and just going through it. But I feel like that cannot seriously be the solution to every puzzle. This seems unlikely. Ah. How nice. Is this the end already? Oh yeah, this is the end. Oh well. That so it makes this uh Oh <laughs> Not the hardest puzzle from the look of things, but maybe I'm I mean I I do still have to point it at something and that is turning out to be surprisingly difficult. Because uh, I'm guessing this is not ideal on account that the box is currently not where I need it to be. Uh, hmm. How do I? Cause like, how do I? How do I? Am I overthinking this? Almost certainly. Because I need need the box to be here. I can jump here from the box, so that's nice. <laughs> I don't think this is the option. It would be funny if this works, but... Yeah, I don't think that's actually a thing, unfortunately. Alright, so this, this is very much becoming how does this mechanic actually work. Can I... No, I can't turn that off. Or remove the fan, rather. More the point I was trying to make. I cannot hold two things at once. Can I do this? This obviously doesn't really help me that that much. Again, this could very much be solved by just getting my second or third box at this point and sort of pushing it into this puzzle. But I feel like if I use that for every puzzle, I would lose its charm somewhere along the line for sure. So that's not ideal either. I can't move this while it's on it, yeah. Hmm, what a conundrum. What a tricksy one we have been tasked to deal with this day. I actually genuinely don't get it. <laughs> we'll get there. It's just gonna take a second. Can I do this? This certainly doesn't do anything. Yeah, this just works the same as the connectors. It just sort of pushes it weirdly. This will just push the box away. Which I feel like, uh, with how close that is to where it is, that could actually cause problems. So that's exciting. Can I... weirdly jump on top of this somehow? Because that would also solve my problems in a way. If I just get the jump here option at the right time. Maybe that could actually do some silly business. It could do silly business, but nothing that's actually helping me. <laughs> uh, so that's not great. So. What have I achieved? <laughs> Very much nothing. I need to be up here uh, to do the thing. The lever's too far away to pull. I can only conclude that this puzzle is fully impossible. Can I do anything with the remaining things of this puzzle somehow? I just feel like I'm missing something very obvious. And it infuriates me. <laughs> to no end. Alternative option. What does that mean? Because obviously this is the... Like, obvious thing to be looking at. I cannot seemingly push this from a distance. I 
I don't think this is working. I'm just getting the hunch. But this is probably not the way to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't just push the box. There's only so many buttons I have available as well, so... To put it simply, it can't be that hard. <laughs> and yet... I struggle profusely. I don't see, like, a different beam I can use... ...beyond those two. And also my head is still a bit stuck in the... ...you know... What if I just get another box? Because it really... it would simplify things a lot. Those birds over there as well, isn't that fun? Hmm. Something I'm missing. Maybe you can just get to the other side of this. Maybe turning off stuff. Uh, would this be good in some way? And then put the box under it? <laughs> I can't. If I could hold. If I had two arms, this would be doable. But unfortunately, in my current situation, uh, I only have access to the one. And that's really my main problem. Dang. Okay, it's not just <laughs> it's not just a matter of <laughs> Imagine if it was though. Imagine if that window was just the, <laughs> the all of this was just a big red herring and the actual answer was just jump through the window that's on the other side. I would have I would have laughed so hard, but god, I mean I already pretty much did. And it wasn't even the case. Hmm. So bizarre. So that's a problem. Gosh. I genuinely don't get it. I genuinely... I'm stumped. Stumped by puzzle four of world one. That is not boding well for the rest of this. Maybe I am just supposed to weirdly push it away. God. What is the incredibly obvious... Like, there is, of course, the possibility that this is just some weird tutorial for the... Uh, the mechanic of, you gotta use these. But if that, if that turns out to be the answer, I'm gonna be just actually very annoyed. Ah... <laughs> uh. Having said that, I genuinely don't know. Because I don't seriously see another way. Unless I could get up top this. But I don't see how that's possible. Could I push this? Weirdly. Dropping a box on. <laughs> yeah, imagine if that was the answer. People would have been furious. Me included. The finder of the solution. I can't open this somehow. I don't think I can just get another connector from somewhere. But I just feel like if I don't solve this in the, like, intended way, I'm going to get in trouble when they use this mechanic again in the future, which they almost certainly will. And that's a bigger problem, I feel. But I can't turn this off from a, on from a distance. Yeah, no idea. Actually, genuinely... What am I meant to be doing here? If 
Find fire hidden in the labyrinth. Help me. <laughs> I need hints. Yakut. Hey, 1K, how can I help you? I am stumped by puzzle number four. You want to solve some of these puzzles? Oh, no. Please. No puzzles. I am so bad at puzzles. I barely got out of the booting process. Elohim thought I might be defective. Dang. Well, I think I'm giving Elohim that impression as well at this point, really. Like, it's not... I'm looking at all I got available here. And the options that I have don't seem to be helping me solve this situation that I've got going on. I seemingly cannot just take the box outside. I haven't found a silly little alcove that accidentally just breaks the whole puzzle. So quite frankly, Yakut, you could probably do pretty good. <laughs> In comparison. Like that doesn't just magically make it work. Unfortunately. God, that would have been so easy if that was a solution. Similarly. If I could just... Wait, what is it? What is it actually... Keep connections. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a UI thing? Is, this, is my problem just entirely caused by the UI? <laughs> Damn it. You know I'm not reading. You know that's my one thing that I'm not doing this playthrough. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah. Wait, now I don't know. Oh, I didn't. All right. Just give me like five more seconds and we'll be done with this puzzle once I actually press the correct buttons. Keep connections. Place it here. Boop. Uh. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. Well done, 1K. That could have been resolved years ago had I read. But obviously that wasn't gonna happen, so it was just a real predicament that we got ourselves into. Anyway. Uh, is there any chance that I can hit that statue from here. I'm gonna say maybe. Nah, I just... Okay. I can't just spam left click, unfortunately. It is there, right? It's that one, I think. But I'm not getting anything for it. I can select something there. But I think that's just a... Uh, like a connector of some kind. Either way, uh, with that in mind, I could do this. Just leave it active for a bit and just uh, point a beam at that direction and... I p <sighs> I'll be honest. This one's gonna trip me up at least. I'm gonna say a million more times if I had to guess that that's that's what I'm currently estimating how many more times I'm not gonna press right click when I am supposed to be pressing right click oh yeah 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 puzzle four solved we did it let's go to puzzle number five everyone Ooh. smartest brains in the universe hasn't listened to two hours of dialogue time to do a the puzzle at the start of the game! I wonder if that was, like, said anywhere. Another set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the megastructure. There was a harder set of puzzles in the simulation, right? And maybe they're like that. I know 1K is probably like, Yay! Harder puzzles! Yay! But to me, that sounds like error code 704. No thanks. That was... How did he know how I sounded so perfectly? That is worrying, but I suppose it is all made by computers and such. And AI, you know, everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about it, so... They probably just perfectly mimic my voice that way. I mean, I'll be honest, they have enough material to get my voice out of, I suppose, but... 
Just didn't expect him to nail it like that. You know? It's just surprising. Eventually we'll find a hidden thing. Puzzle 5 down there? It might actually be, yeah. Well, the good thing about puzzle number 5, assuming it's down there, is that it's unlikely to be part of the point a green beam at the statue puzzle that we all are still actively remembering to this day. So that's good. That's positive. But it is concerning me every single puzzle that we do, and that's less positive. So all in all, it's sort of a net neutral. Sort of cancels each other out a little bit. I desperately want to climb this rock more than you... Well, you have a decent idea, I think, at this point, but... Like, it's a lot. And once again, life would have just been so much simpler had I taken my box from puzzle number three. My box is definitely not even close to puzzle number three either anymore, is it? I just sort of put, put it somewhere. Oh, that's nice. I inspected that, and that is now inspected. The artifact has been found. Good. Very nice. Very good. Very good. My exploration has found some rust. <laughs> what will be <laughs> what will be the next part of this exploration? Tetanus? I can't wait. Uh five is this way. Yeah, okay, that's actually fair enough. It was clearly downstairs. Just didn't see an entrance. I thought it would be here. But maybe it's further up ahead and I was going in the right direction. Wrong direction. A direction. I was walking wrong. That's that's more of the gist of it. Well, number five's here. No, that's not what I expected. Everything's falling apart. But I think we did just find it. But also... There's another tablet that we can all read all of the dialogue of. There is a fun little face in the leaves here if you use your imagination a little bit. Not much. I'd argue if you use your imagination too much on that one, you'll probably not even see it, but just a little bit of imagination. I look, I, I personally am looking forward to the puzzle that requires you to just jump through a wall randomly. <laughs> it's just the only way to solve it. At least now we know, you know, the mechanic. And also, I was right in that had I not done that puzzle properly, it would have just bit me in the butt at a later stage. So I'm I'm at least glad that I decided to spend 50 years on that puzzle just to figure out the sort of intended way of doing things. I'm just sad it took so long. <laughs> uh, what do we got going on? I'm just sort of moving things around. We got a spinny. Probably has a name. We're gonna call it Spinny for almost certainly the entire playthrough. God, imagine if I do need to move this beam from this puzzle specifically, though. It just seems like such a hassle. I don't want to deal with that. This isn't a connector. This is a Spinny. I can't do anything with this. Oh, I guess I could open the door with it. Uh, we'll get through this. Uh, can I hit the blue beam from here? Nope. But I can put this here and uh, not open the door. That's what I can do. Boop. Boop, boop. Keep the door open, thing. You open this. Nope. Nope. There we go. Now I don't need to use the jammer on that. And now that we have this door open... I feel like I didn't properly... Explore this room in particular, but Maybe there's just not that much to see here. Maybe this is just a fun little room that they added Right, so what's the purpose of this can I I guess I can do this jump that uh, Now I can move this to here Yeah, this will hit everything it amazingly does. <laughs> ah, what a twist. It's amazing how fast a puzzle can go if you don't have to figure out the new mechanic. A group chat. I have good news and I have bad news. 
Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. Two stations are better than none. I wonder what's waiting for us there. An impressive success rate. Sarcasm. Wow. Famously helpful. And that wasn't even sarcasm. Bring you along again? I was trying to be nice. Uh, is that a personality? Well, it off before I switch it off. Oh. Let's stay focused. We're in unfamiliar territory. We can't afford to get distracted. Al's right. Yaku, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more of an open area with scattered structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty though. Okay. Keep exploring everyone, but stay alert. I think there are days where I do appreciate the dialogue and then there are days where I could do without it. I, I'm feeling mixed. I'm feeling mixed about it. But that's more just my very vague memories of the first game. Giving me a very vague expectation of what the second game could be, I suppose. Did I even touch this? I feel like I just walked past this entirely. But I, I, I just, I feel like I don't need to hear what an area is going to look like because I'm going to be going there and seeing it. Trevor, Percy, Alexandra Drennan. Ah. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would just start playing. Uh, right. So, so I heard oh. that Alexandra is recording these time capsules for you out there, I guess. Robot people of the future. Hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexander Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking. A dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. When I was... Yeah. Yeah, yes, Frank. I'm recording right now. Uh-huh. No. You know what? Why don't you go... Dang. Trevor and Frank are just having a real struggle right now. I hope they make up. Yeah, I'm feeling good that we'll hear more about that story as it progresses. And that uh, it's gonna have a happy ending. That's my full expectation of the, 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 the full video game. Anyway, why is this green beam occasionally? It's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Like it's all unfinished or still evolving. I don't know what they're talking about. This puzzle looks fine. But at least uh, the beam occasionally goes through the purple, so that's good to know. Is there anything else I can realistically do here? I can put it here, I suppose. And just, uh... Because now... I can do... Ha! Solved. As you can see, I do think you might be able to use the beam, at least. So that's... Something. Something, alright. Hmm... What do you want me to do? Do you just want me to put the connector here? Cause I feel like even I can do that. Obviously this is not an issue, but... Yeah, that wasn't... This is a free thing. Lovely. Now... Because of this free thing, I can make a blue beam go... Up to here. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't go quick enough. That was my one mistake. Now I've got a green beam here that I can't uh, deal with. Wait, I can I can do the the right clicky. There we go. We did the right clicky, and now that's that'll 
keep going. And now we can use the box. And then we can do the. Uh, and this is blue. And this is A. Puzzles. I will say it looks nice when you beat a puzzle. Just a fun little animation that they made for that. And... I think... More things stay open in these puzzles than they did in the earlier areas where I kept getting stuck everywhere. <laughs> so that's nice. That's good. But also there's a part of me that just sort of hopes that there's another... A whoopsie daisy somewhere. And I just end up taking the box through a wall. Because now that I know that the possibility is there, I had to find it on like puzzle three, right? Because now, now I'm worried about every single wall in the game, and and the possibility of like, oh, maybe I could just jump through this and uh, solve all my problems that way. I think there is actually a reasonable chance that I could use the two boxes. Where did I put this box? Um, to make it. Maybe easier to hit the green thing. That's that's been done. Um, Cause my thinking is, if I just get really high on that fan, that'll be good somehow. Which puzzles do we still need to do? Sevens there. There's a question mark there as well on the map, so I guess we might as well just keep going in that direction. Six is there. Wait, what puzzles have we done? The bunny. We're following the bunny. Dog. Oh. No, we're not. This is a fast button. Is it just running in circles? Is it running in circles? Did it just disappear? Uh, who's to say? We're going in this direction. There is a blue hand, which I assume we've interacted with, because otherwise it would just be a question mark, I imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So much to think about at times like these. Uh, there is a question mark there as well. Just gonna see which question mark I can reach first. But then I go here, and then the, the compass goes away, and that makes it really difficult. Is there another? St oh, is that the statue that I was thinking of? Is it? No, it's a different one. But it has stuff coming out of it. It has blue. Can I point a connector at this? And is it somehow relevant? Can I put a connector between this thing and that thing and does it then make a green beam eventually? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Anyway. What's over here? There's seemingly nothing cuz I feel like the moment something isn't shown on the compass, it becomes a non-event. But maybe there is like more of those rust-covered things. And, well, <laughs> I'm excited. This is something. Oh, hey, it is more rust-covered things. Woo! <laughs> we did it, everyone. <laughs> we found a tricycle in a tree. And all we had to do was walk to the other side of the earth. Those things are not indicated at all on like the radar or anything, so I look forward to finding about a quarter of them uh, during this playthrough. Because the possibility of finding all of them is certainly there, but I feel like the odds are incredibly low. Also... Uh, what are the odds that I don't need to build this whole bridge if I just had two boxes? Like, hypothetically, how big are the chances that I could just stack two boxes here and just wiggle a bit and, uh, ultimately reach <laughs> the same goal? I'm curious what a speedrun of this game looks like. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Because I guess you need to open new areas with more puzzles, but... I don't know where the end of the game is. And if there is a point where it's like, oh, you could just jump to the end in like five seconds and skip the whole game. 
What's going on over here? Oh. Get this thing. I didn't think these things would just hide, but I guess they do. Sometimes. Do we have to follow the path exactly? Do I have to grab it? The trick- Oh, there was frogs! I- uh, <laughs> Can't focus on frogs while I'm following fire. That's my one weakness. In all of life. How much longer do you think this goes on? Okay, I was gonna say, you wouldn't just go inside the way to the circle. Ah. Something's gonna happen here, and I'm excited. We're gonna grab it, there's gonna be a whole animation, and then we get 200 credits. Uh, that we can spend. Oh, I can't. One moment. I wasn't aware that's where you were going. Hello. Oh, God. Well, I can't chase you that fast. Ugh. I don't know if this is relevant, but St. Edward believed that Tetraminos represented the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. Gosh, ain't it just... This is what genius looks like to someone out there. Me walking sideways so you can't see the actual movement speed that we're dealing with here. Oh, hey, it's going to the... This, 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 this. Yeah? Are you going to... This, this, this? Hey! I got an achievement for that. And yellow. Find my surprise. Yeah, I did that. On purpose. Solve one Prometheus moment. Not all things must be balanced. When good is weighed against evil, tip the scale. I like that voice. Prometheus seems like a, a good I'll lad. No like a recording. The entity didn't appear, and the system didn't react either. Wow. Stars. Another reflection of the simulation. Can't believe they'd be so mean about that Prometheus moment. Hello, Byron. Who finally me, wants to talk to me? Of New Jerusalem? What are you asking me about? Uh, it's, uh... It's pretty big. It does look very grand, doesn't it? We had such ambitions in the beginning. But if you look closely, you'll notice the cracks. The places where it's all starting to fray. We've lost faith in ourselves, in our humanity. All we need to do now is finish that dome and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. I like Byron. Byron seems like uh, <laughs> he's got a good view on life. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's go to puzzle number six. I feel like now's the time. Now that we've done a little bit of silliness, we can get back to the serious stuff of puzzle number six. I don't know where it is. We're going to puzzle number seven. Right? We're going to the first puzzle that I can find. Whichever one that is, but I feel like this is not the correct direction to reach anything. Given how this place is laid out. It's just got so much. Ah, uh, this would be so much easier with two boxes. Like, does this... This in particular. This, this, this doesn't need to be this way, where it's just like slightly too high to jump. Also, I found my box, so actually that's pretty good. You know what, I'm no longer as furious now that I've found my box to give me emotional support, because quite frankly, it makes life a lot easier. Why did the music stop here? Is there something here? It's my homemade jumping puzzle, but... Oh, it is a homemade jumping puzzle. And I do have the box to... to make it, I think. No, maybe not. Need at least two boxes. But if I had two boxes, gosh. What a time to be alive that would be. 
I could reach that with a box. Do you need another, any other box-based facts? Because I've got exactly one and it's just repeating the word box over and over. But I'm pretty excited about the prospect of just saying box for the rest of my life. Anyway, what we got? Uh, we got a puzzle here that I'm guessing we solved. There's a big blue triangle here, which I'm curious about. Why are you blue? Interconnectivity. Which, is this a numbered puzzle or is this just a thing that's lying around? It's puzzle number triangle. All right, good. That's my favorite number of uh, the binary numbering. Okay. So far, pretty easy. Even I can do this. Even I can do that. Uh, green. Oh, but then I need to have blue there as well. Um, blue is not the right color to make it easy. I can't do this anymore. I'm falling apart. Uh, if I... <sighs> can... I make this green somehow. If I stand on the button, that could actually work fairly well, I feel. Uh, and then... Alright, we got two more things. That seems like a lot. This seems like way more than could possibly be needed. To get one... One blue and one green to go there? Surely I don't need that many things. I just simply cannot accept that as truth. I'm the dumbest man. <laughs> Let me get everything out of the place first before I start closing doors. Uh, and then from here, we just gotta make, make one of these. And then, right, yeah, green was the problem. Uh, how do we do this? Oh, uh, I guess we have two things. Uh, such a boring solution, though. Wait, this doesn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm meant to have... Huh. Ah, oh, they made it tricky again. They forced me a thought. I don't like that. I wasn't here to think. I was here to solve puzzles. All right, say I have this. Say you're not there. Could I, in a really silly way, just get a blue beam from outside? Because that would certainly solve all my problems. Um, alternatively, I guess I could just go all the way around. And then you have like more of the intended solution. But I feel like, and once I am, somewhat overusing the term I feel like but I feel like there's certainly some potential there this isn't even doing anything nope that's one too many I think oh no, that's fine like this works it's just not as exciting as I feel you could make it do we get a triangle for this though I don't know if this was the harder puzzle. <laughs> Might have been. Naldo, what did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically you're right, but... Is that? I can't tell what that is. How did you even manage? You're, you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. Melville. I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. Melville. Clearly you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. Some of us are busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, what, but the point I'm trying to make is that you can almost certainly get a blue beam or a green beam from like there. And I think that would be pretty neat. I think that would just be a pretty neat way to live life. Anyway, uh, I'm going to climb this mountain now. I think it's time. I think it's time that we do a little bit of jumping. 
Don't. Don't you dare. If you fall, we're gonna have an issue. If I do that, we're also gonna have an issue. Uh, there we go. Alright, so jump on top of this. And uh, now we're on top of it. As you can see, we have perfectly climbed this mountain. Huzzah! God, this looks... Like, perfect for the purposes of getting a laser from a different puzzle. Through this puzzle number seven as well. That's a classic puzzle for shenanigans. Everyone knows the best shenanigans are had at puzzle number seven. Famous, famous saying in uh, the south of some country or another. Oh, you could definitely get a box in here, right? Because if it's just like here... I don't know how far I need to put this, but you can make this jump very easily. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm. I think it's about time that we get silly with it. So let's let's see if a box helps us <laughs> with this puzzle. <laughs> We're definitely meant to have a box for this. There you go. Uh, that probably helps out. Let's see. We can get this. How do you normally open this? Is there a thing here? Do you just press the button and just grab it? Maybe it is actually just close enough that you can just grab it normally. Who's to say? Anyway, uh, where am I actually going? Am I going up top this with the fan? Oh uh, yeah, I suppose I am, aren't I? And to do that I need a red beam. What is the easiest red beam to acquire? Obviously, I only have blue and green. That's just the edge. It's called self-sufficiency, so probably there's some way where you could uh, get the this one to be pointing at both that and that if you're a clever person. Which, as we all know, <laughs> there's a good 50% chance that we got that in us today. So, I'm feeling good. Uh, where's the red? There's the red. Alright, so we have everything. Except for the fact that we don't have beams. So that's uh, it's a good two out of three. Uh, from here I can't really... Uh, what did I just point out? Or not point out? Perfect. So that's good. Um, say I do this. Open this, keep it open. I said keep it open. How? What happened to you? How did you get all the way down here? That's not, that's not my, that's not my design, Will Graham. Perfect. And now, We can do the normal solution. Oh, this is actually just the normal solution, isn't it? Yeah, because then you'd uh, point it at that as well, and then, and then you've solved the puzzle. I'm going to say this box didn't help us at all. I don't know why everyone said that the box would help us out. It's wild. All of us recording. Fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. Obviously, I'm not going to access the tower immediately. I have things to look at. Whee! <laughs> oh, it just instantly stops the beam the moment it touches it. That's good. Alright. Uh, I don't think I can very easily get my box out of here again, though. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay. If needed, I'll just load a checkpoint. Hmm, actually, I wonder if I need to, because it didn't seem that high, all things considered. So maybe I could just jump in there from that angle again and just uh, grab it. Especially like this. Like, you could very easily just reach that from the outside if you were capable of pressing a button. Uh, could you... is it actually dependent on the box? Are you serious? No, I was just going up the wrong thing, surely. Huh. Ah, my box. 
My box. <laughs> Surely not. Surely I don't need the box to get up there. I'm a prime jumping kind of. I've jumped for the Olympics. Robot Olympics. It was just me, but you know it. It was. It, it, it certainly happened. Huh. Well. Hang on. <laughs> this has suddenly become, in my mind, important. So, let's just real quickly. Because there must be angles where you can at least, like, hit the outside wall. Right? Because this doesn't seem that high. It just doesn't seem that high. Yeah. And then from there you can do this, and from there you can not quite grab it. Ah. Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, because I guess you could just take anything out of the puzzle if you could do that. <laughs> I guess you could just take anything out of the puzzle if you could do if you could do that, you know, hypothetically. Oh, God, this game. I am playing it exactly as it was intended. <laughs> we got rid of a box. Uh, one box is still somewhere where I don't think we can reach it anymore, so that could be a problem. But at least we have a connector and a spitty thing available now. Um, so realistically, I think we should be able to point a green beam at the thing. With that, I've kind of forgot how I did this now. Uh, was it from here? It, was, it must have been from somewhere up here. This is all like pretty close to each other. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so that's a connector. Where do I... Oh God, where even was the beam? Where's the question mark? I can't see it on the map. Uh, puzzle 7 is the one where I can get another spinny thing if I so need it. I just need to find the question mark. Is it that one? Is it this? God, right, this nonsense. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, here it is. So that's got like a cool symbol on top of it. There's frogs here sometimes. That's also important. But how do I get a green beam from anywhere? That's sort of currently my main problem. If I could get a green beam from here. From puzzle number eight, because there's a green switch over here, so that implies I can make a green beam go to that connector. <laughs> and do this puzzle exactly as it was intended. Uh, what do I need with red? Nothing yet. You there. Uh, this on and off. It's currently off, but it's not doing much. Do I still need to put the fan in here? No. What? But do I also need to have the green thing on? Oh, yeah, there's two cables going to that. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. What does red do for me? It can make green happen, I think. I do like... Uh... Something like this. Perfect. And now if I move this, it's gonna just perfectly stay in place. Yeah, I figured as much. But I could do this. Stand on the switch. And now it's on. Uh, so that's not great. <laughs> Hmm. How do I do this? Oh yeah, yeah. Tricky business. All right, so. Hmm. Can I open this in any other way? No, I need to actually have like something available. If only I still had that box. That box would have made life so much easier. What's the? Uh, I was gonna say, what was the purpose of, of the fan? But I guess it's just to get the box and this thing up, and then you can point it at all of that stuff right there, and ultimately reach the end. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so how do I keep green? I suppose if I don't try to do everything at once, I, I'm guessing that's just the whole thing of it. 
that I just do things in parts, because there's no way I can make this happen. But I can make this happen. And then I have a box. And with the box, I can obviously first look at this cool V, then I can jump over here, jump through the non-solid wall, and just go instantly to the end of the game. Alright, so with this, uh, we can put that there. Mm, yeah, I am gonna have to have that there. And that's fine. We can uh, do this, do this, maybe this, and put it on the box. Yeah. And then with this, we can point at that and that and that, and then we just step on the switch, and then everything flies up, and it's great. Hey, that's probably not ideal, but also forget to I forgot something, but it's fine. We got what we ultimately went for, which is to get a green beam <laughs> in the sky. Ah, dang it! Uh, come on. This is certainly possible. The full-on intended solution to this puzzle. Oh my god, are you serious? Get in there. There we go. What? Oh, the thing going up and down is causing problems again. Uh, here maybe? Oh. There we go. We have done it. What is this actually? I guess maybe this could have given me a hint as well. There we go. Say, solve one Pandora moment. Picked up the first stone. He did not do so to forge a tool. He did so to smite his brother. I mean, likely. Oh. <laughs> I guess, I guess more likely. You could just point that one at that, and that's the whole solution, isn't it? It's a much easier way of doing this. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, you, you live and learn. That's what Sonic always said. This doesn't quite work, does it? No. Uh, this might, though. Because now I can make this connector. I can make this work. Uh, can I make this work? This could be kind of an awkward angle, actually. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. There you go. And we solved it using the intended solutions of the game. Good. Let's get some measurements from this particle cloud. Look, I'm just saying it was either that or basically redo everything. Because I had to press the switch and point it at that button. Which I'm pretty sure this this could reach, yeah. But I am at least like sort of curious if you could uh this is probably going to turn everything off, yeah, yeah. Can I point that at the thing, maybe? Uh, it's like somewhere there. I... have to assume that you can. Yeah, there you go. And then from here, yeah, it would just point perfectly at that and it would work. So, had I had a brain, I could have... <laughs> I didn't need that extra connector for all that stuff. But fortunately, the game offered me an extra connector through the power of uh, love, so that's good. Uh, let's just take this with us. This is actually a pretty useful thing to have. Turns out having an extra connector at all times, pretty good deal. It uh, certainly makes life a little bit easier. If you just need one less of every component in the game. And honestly, we can get one of every com component. We've talked to Alcatraz before, I'm fairly sure. Because we can get a box, we can get a connector, and we can get the, sw the Swiggly Whirly boy. <laughs> Whatever the name is. So, yeah, it's, it's certainly given us options thanks to the fact that, one, that some of the walls were not as solid as one would expect. Because again, here, I feel like having this connector available probably makes life a little bit easier. 
Uh, let's just uh, do this normally, though, just for fun. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, so we just put that there. And then we point this and this and there. Uh, we got a whole thing going on here. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. This, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is certainly something that would be significantly easier. Well, I say significantly easier. It would be easier with uh, a connector for sure. Because now I have to deal with this nonsense. But I think it's actually not too bad. If I... Uh, maybe it is a little annoying, actually. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, that was just... It was, it was barely a puzzle. <laughs> One case solved all the puzzles in this area, but nothing happened. There was a brief blip in the system, though. Maybe it'll do something later. There Maybe. Some sort of point. So we have the golden gate still available. We have the big door. I'm curious if the Golden Gate opens now, or if all the Golden Gates open at the same time or something like that. Who knows? I suppose I can real quickly just pass by it and see if there's anything... Oh god, it's so far away. This place is so big. There is no way we're gonna see everything. Talos Principle 1 had very small areas, I'm starting to realize. Uh, that is what it is, isn't it? Is this what it was pointing at? It was. I don't remember where the Golden Gate was then. Because that's where the Prometheus thing was. The Pandora thing was over there. There's a question mark there. Maybe the question mark was the Golden Gate. It's worth checking just because there's a question mark here and that alone is suspicious. Why would there be a question mark here? Why would there be a question mark? It's just a little tablet over there that I forgot to interact with. I'll be honest, this place is too big. I, I could... I, I don't mind... I don't mind it. But... But... <laughs> However... It doesn't need to be this big. <laughs> I, I get that they can. I just don't think it's necessary. Uh, the first companion, 777. How is 777? Oh, that's just a mystery, isn't it? Back we go. There is a pleasure in arriving on this island. The pleasure of being the first to step foot here in hundreds of years. It is a genuine pleasure, and yet it is also banal. My presence here is of no more significance than that of every other animal. These rocks do not care who walks here, and the millennia between the presence of our ancestors and my brief journey are nothing to them. But even putting it this way is wrong. It is not that the rocks do not care, it is that, in some sense, they do not exist. I may stand in awe of the cliffs on the southern coast, but the cliffs cannot look back at me with contempt. They cannot do anything at all. I'm gonna let him finish speaking before I fully build this bridge, which turns out I can't? Uh, what do you want from me, game? It just wanted me to click three times. It didn't want me to be fancy with the rotation. Oh, and then I didn't... Oh, yeah. I can just keep holding this. Very good. Rotate. Rotate. Oh, God. Uh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, is it the wrong way? It's a fun way. This is equally wrong. This doesn't seem right. How much can I rotate this? Not that much. Select piece. Oh, I once again just had to read what was on the screen. Now I see. 
As you can see, this has solved all my issues perfectly. Right. We get it. We've, we've solved it. When I was booked in, I was terrible at the Tetromino Arrangers. Those were actually the only ones I was good at. What? Yeah. I'm just saying. That's wild. How people have different skill sets. That is fascinating. And bizarre. Just so bizarre. I want to. I have to. I have to at least try. <laughs> I don't think I can make that. I think... I don't want to walk all the way around again. It's so far. You know? <laughs> if I had a box with me, I 100% would have, because the box would have made that jump easily. But with just a humble connector, I will simply not bother. There's a bridge above me. One could fall down that bridge and land in that same place. Whereas I simply walk. Big tower, though. Let's see. Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. Again, if we had a box. Oh, never mind. We don't need one. We found a secret way here. Now this is good. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's just go, though. Anti-gravity. Activate. Wait. Oh. In the beginning, the god shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? Uh, uh, I do. Yeah, I, yeah, perfection is impossible. The man who lives on the plains imagines that the gods dwell on the mountain top. But if he followed the steep road, he would see his shadow in the clouds beneath. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to the gods than to the animals, he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? Yes. Because parents should not leave their children space space helpless. Uh, I don't think that's too special. It just looks a bit odd. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, sure. Fire may belong to the child, but the child will still burn itself. Angered by the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? Don't open boxes. Ay, 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 ay. Those who seek hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils. Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole, or will it destroy you? Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. Stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. That looks like a massive amount of power. Can I use my connector on it? Uh. We need to talk about what just happened. Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to? And what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Presumably the same technology. 
What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? It's definitely sentient. It definitely reacted to my exact words and not just gave the same that answers. doesn't necessarily mean that it's intelligent. Let's assume for a moment that 1K is right and it is intelligent in some sense. It must be what aliens. What really matters here is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. Uh, aliens. Uh, it was testing me. Testing me to what? Aliens. See if you're worthy? Yes. That's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if you do it three times, you get access to the megastructure. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what I like? Certainty. Come on, Al, live a little. That's the spirit. 1K, keep solving puzzles. The rest of you, as you were. Starting to appreciate Byron as a person, I suppose. He's just got good vibes going. I cannot use my connector on this beam. Which makes me think this is not standard issue beamage. This is dangerous and we should be more careful. At the same time though, there's puzzles. I regret not putting the connector down uh, to see if it would fall down all the way. And now we'll never know because I don't want to go all the way back up again. So, I hope we can find the golden door again. That's like the one thing that sort of eludes me at this point. Uh, I hope this is something. But I think no one is surprised by the outcome that we're just slightly too big and don't have a crouch button. We've gone through that path before. Uh, oh, that will make me day fall down real fast, actually. Wait. It's like a weird little slope there that stops you from being silly. It's an anti-silly slope, is what it is, and I do not respect it. If anything, it just taunts me to get more boxes in this place and just go to town on it. But for now... I kind of want to find the Golden Bridge. I, I am... I'm curious about it. It might have opened. There is a question mark somehow still there in the distance, so we're just going to walk towards that for a minute. I think the main reason why I didn't see the, the, this question mark before is just where it's located specifically. It's just barely out of the way to be fully visible. But perhaps with these two orbs that we've gotten, we can open the Golden Door find the secrets save the day have a good time oh this is actually open isn't it eh. well that's easy what is here another generator cannot use the connector on it more propane good robots can't fart so it's good to have options i think we're done here for now this is very similar to the structure where you found the schematics. I like Check that. Check out the terminals. Maybe there's something that'll help us understand who built this place. They have to have left something behind. Someone started talking and then immediately was like, Oh, let's start this other voice line instead. Oh, oh can I use the connector on these little things? That would have been cute. We got a portal. Or a hole maker. Oh, I do like a hole maker. What do we have? Is it a maker of holes? The kilo year event? And some numbers? Cool. First companions? Fail to load comments. What's up with that? And some more cool numbers. Very good. But not the schematics I was looking for, just a cool device. Perhaps over here though. Genuinely thought there was an aquarium here, but it is just uh, computers. They could have been water cooled. Just cool bleep and blooping devices. That's what we got going on over here. You never know when you need a good bleep or a good bloop. 
But is that it though? Is there nothing else I can interact with here? Because I read this, obviously, read it very carefully, read all of it, read every word. Read every single one of these as well, and the error message, but there isn't like a schematics thing that I could pick up and uh, do without. But this looks cool. Looks promising for the future is what it does. Just briefly curious if um, there's anything I can do while not holding a connector, really, which is why I dropped it for a little bit there. But it does appear that there is not much we can do here for as far as I can gather, unless they put it in a weird spot. Uh, but seeing as I didn't see it within milliseconds... Um, I'm just gonna take my connector and go home, I think. I think this is just simply not the place where we are meant to be at this stage in time. If anything, you could just say this is a little lore area of some description. First, perfectly built for the purpose of just uh, reading some text and then moving on. I will say, the main thing I was curious about is, uh, where is it? It was in one of the corners where you could just sort of look through the... Where is it? I saw it a second ago. There was a corner missing, and you could just sort of look through the ceiling into the other room. Or was it just... Hmm. No, maybe it regrew. <laughs> maybe, maybe it found a way to put it back anyway. Where was that? I... <laughs> oh my god. No idea. It was there, wasn't it? I, I sh sure I saw through the floor at some point, or the ceiling, rather. Hang on. <laughs> Just gonna check one more time. Just gonna check the quarters one final time. Because I just had the thought, what if I activate photo mode and fly through it and see if there's anything there. Oh, there it was, yeah. But I think that's just, uh... A whoopsie daisy, as we call it in the field. I don't think this, like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through this, for sure. Unless this is not solid. Which is always an option, of course. But I think that's just, uh... Yeah, just a bunch of nothing in it. It's just, uh, it's just a little place. So, we're just gonna leave that alone. Not worry about it. Not worry about why there would be a hole of reality there. Uh, and instead, we simply leave this place alone. We have no need for propane where we're going. What do you think about this Melville? Nothing anymore. There we go. Did something break? No. Uh, particle clouds? Yes, but I'm not liking the results. What are the results? Confusing, irritating, infuriating. Take your pick. Infuriating. Thank you. I got an achievement for talking to each member of my team. Nice. With that, I think we've seen everything here that is reasonable to see. We've seen a few things that one could argue are a little less reasonable. We've done a couple puzzle solutions, perhaps not entirely through the intended methods. And, uh, we found a tricycle in a tree. So all in all, pretty good, pretty good first world. Oh yeah, and we found a wall that wasn't solid. I suppose that, that was probably in the list of things that we experienced during these travels that, uh, <laughs> puzzle one? Was it puzzle one or two? Where, oh, uh, whoops, the walls, but, you know, you can't beat them all. You can't beat the wall. And ultimately, having the box outside meant I could get this connector out there, which meant that I could do one puzzle slightly less irritatingly because I forgot to press a button and then had to redo the whole thing otherwise. So, you know what? We don't have to make life too complicated sometimes. Can I, though? Uh, just go up here real quick. Oops. 
Because I've seen that fire a couple times now, and it's taunting me. And I'm curious if it's like an actual thing you can pick up, or just a flame. Because it looks weird, right? Like, compared to everything else in here. It looks off. It is something. It was a Prometheus spark, according to the... Uh, thing. <laughs> the annoying thing is, I think I saw a second one. <laughs> And I genuinely do not remember where, so, uh, yeah, we're not gonna find all of those. That's fine, though. I did think it looked odd the first time I saw it, but I just didn't really think much of it at the time, and then coming back to it later. And having boxes on the head, it, it was, uh, you know, I had to try, and it turns out, it was a thing. It was a thing. It does look like these fun shapes aren't ultimately going to lead to a fun adventure, so that's a little sad. But all in all, not a good time. I'm curious what the next world will bring. At least there's frogs sometimes as well. I forget where, where I put the other box, but I think it's like somewhere up here. Oh yeah, oh, it's actually very reachable. Did it fall down? Probably did. I can't imagine it would otherwise be available. What that does mean, though, is that I want to have a little bit more silliness before we leave. And that's seeing if... Uh, no, 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 no. Can I get on the train rail? I assume I can get on top of this with the box. Yeah. And then maybe from here... Hi, Byron. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back upstairs. All right. Let us leave this silly place. Box in hand. Can't enter vehicle while carrying something. All right. Box on top of the vehicle. Let's go. Probably should have put it in front of the vehicle, in fairness. So, if I click on this, I found everything except for the gold puzzles. Uh, there is something there, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe we should come back to that later. I'm gonna real quickly see if there's something I can interact with in there that I just missed in a silly way. Alright, I found the golden door again, but it's only got two blues, and it doesn't open, so... I guess we need the... Blah, 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 something or another. Um, pet some more cats, say hello to some more friends. We'll figure it out. Alright. We are ready to go. To puzzle number two, where we will end this video. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just go to puzzle number the world number two, and then when we're there, we can end the video and have like a little sneak preview of what's gonna look like. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. The box did not go all the way with us, as the train tracks are not solid enough to carry a small box around. I'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site, but while you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. You know, to get that success rate up a bit. Maybe there's another one of those labs that Wong K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. Well, I am looking forward to it, but not today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we are going to go through area number two, and I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.